Hello, happy Friday. This is Courtney with journeyofadreamer.com and I'm here having coffee with you today. I've got my Keurig Brew Over Ice Coffee. Uh, my summertime favorite go-to is iced coffee. For some reason I just have a hard time drinking hot coffee um, when it's like 90 degrees outside at 7 o'clock in the morning. So iced coffee is the way to go. For me, Keurig works great. They brew over ice. Um, you just put the ice in, push the button, bink, and you've got some iced coffee. Splash a little creamer. Um, I used to only be able to have, like, flavored creamers, like really strong flavors, lots of sugar. That would be the only way that I'd drink coffee. Well, lately, I love just plain coffee with a splash of, like, the So Delicious Coconut Creamer or um, with some um, just plain regular half and half has been perfectly fine for me. Even the stuff that we get, the nat all natural coffee mate creamer and the sweet cream flavor. Um, I've had some of that this morning and it's, it's super sweet to me. It's so weird how your taste buds change. Anyway, back to our coffee date. Um, if we we're having coffee today, I would want to talk about priorities. That's something that I've been thinking a lot about lately. Um, really, I've been noticing even if you don't acknowledge that you have set priorities, you do have priorities and you make room for those things to happen. Uh, if you have, if something is a priority to you, whether you say it is or unconsciously or whatever, then you end up getting that done. Uh, for me right now, my priority is working out and eating right. And before we started this journey together um, for the 60 day fat loss journey you guys have been reading about, um, really, it was hard to stay focused and make excuses and I think making it a priority as a family makes it a lot easier for you. Um, if you have a partner or someone, um, an accountability partner or someone who's there to help you make that a priority, then it makes it easier. And that goes not just for diet or exercise or whatever, but that goes for, for everything in your life. I think if you have a priority and you have someone you're accountable to, then that really helps you accomplish that goal. Um, right now, working out, huge priority. CrossFit has been our main workout um, for the last uh, month and a half or so, and it has been awesome. For me, uh, the way to make it work is to go first thing in the morning. And by first thing, I mean like going to the 5 a.m. class. And uh, 420 wake up calls aren't exactly fun, but because it's a priority, it's something that I make happen. Um, another priority is family time, spending time with our daughter um, and with my husband. And if you don't make that a priority, it's so easy to get caught up in, well, I've got to, um, whether it's even just a blog post or whether it's I got to return emails or whether it's, you know, something else that can just come up. If you don't make it a priority to, have relational time in your life, if you aren't conscious about making that decision, it's so easy to let those times slip away. Um, right now, Peyton's really into cuddling. She loves it. She begs all the time, come cuddle me. And it's so hard to say no to that. And I mean, if you make it a priority to where they know that they're getting your attention, I mean, children, a little two-year-old, if they know they're getting your attention, then it's a lot easier for you to say, okay, this is my time with you right now, undivided, close the computer, turn off the cell phone, and let them know that they have that attention, it makes it so much easier than to say, okay, right now mommy's got to work or, or do this or that. So, um, yeah, priorities. If we were having coffee, again, I'd probably complain about um, how sore I am. That's just, that's a new normal for us now is being sore, but I am loving it. Um, and this weekend also, I'd probably talk your ear off if we were having coffee about the CrossFit Games. Those are going on right now. It's basically the Olympics for CrossFit and uh, people compete, anybody can compete in the, in the CrossFit Open, um, any affiliates, you know, worldwide. And then the top people from the Open get to go to the regionals and then each region gets to pick people or each reason at the regionals, the winners go on to the CrossFit Games. And, um, man, such a true test of, of fitness. And that, that's the goal of CrossFit is to be able to declare the fittest people on earth is what the Reebok CrossFit Games declare the winners. And it's so true because the athletes checked in on Monday 
and they were expecting to start competition today, but they actually started on Wednesday with a swim, bike, run. They swam in the ocean. They biked on a one-speed bike throughout, like, sandy terrain, hills, and whatever at Camp Pendleton. And then they also did um, an 11K run, and it was, like, a trail run. Like, I run, and so, I mean, even doing an 11K running on flat ground without really knowing about it, mentally preparing yourself would be rough. But doing an 11K and the situations they were up the hills, it's like a trail run, and even the downhills, I mean, I can't imagine how your quads burn going down those hills. Anyway, so surprise, they did that, and then they had an hour of rest, then they had to go into a bracketed obstacle course. Crazy! So, um, man, they got through that, and it was rough on some of them, I imagine, but today starts the, um, the rest of the competition, so you'll probably be seeing me tweet about that, follow on Twitter the hashtag uh, CrossFitGNC or the hashtag uh, 2012RCFGames, and um, I'll include those in the blog post so you can follow them as well. I encourage you to follow the action and get get inspired to do something great, get, you know, encourage your fitness level, make that a priority you know, your relationships with your family, make that a priority. Um, whatever it is, make it a priority and continue to work on it. And uh, congratulations if you made it to the end of this video. Uh, it's just me rambling a little bit about my craziness. But um, let me know in the comments below or, or um, go to the Rags to Stitches blog, which I'll include the link here, and link up your own coffee date. Let us know what's been going on in your life. And um, hopefully we'll see you next week. Have a great weekend.